Well, Tatiana and Ilya, and you have a last name with that looks like to us in America. It looks like. Did you ever play Scrabble? Do you know Scrabble, the game? Oh, uh, yeah. Get all the letters, the and you try to make a name out of letters. Well, at the end of the game, you have all the letters you couldn't make a word out of, and that's what your last name looks like me to me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> a whole bunch of letters that I can't pronounce. <laughs> but it's wonderful to have. But it's in your website, lot of Crafty Bell, right? So that's C R A F T I B E L L E S, right? And that's, that's what right. you guys are. And really, it's you, Tatiana, that you just learned how to make dolls two years ago. And now you have a successful store on Etsy and Amazon and Facebook that are selling handmade dolls that you made and just learned how to make them yourself. I mean, that's incredible. People think they have to have a PhD to do anything, you know, or be 20 years in doing something, you know, before they do anything. Like drilling for oil, you need a PhD to do that. Is that right, <laughs> Ilya? <laughs> Well, yes, you need to have a PhD, but, uh, you know, to find your passion, yeah. you don't really have to have a PhD. Exactly, because uh, you, you could learn so many things by yourself nowadays, which you've done. And now what's interesting about your store, though, instead of sharing the beauty of the dolls that you're creating for people, which are one-of-a-kind gifts, you're not going to find them in toy stores or supermarkets or you know, Walmart or anywhere, they're because they come from your heart, but... You're teaching other people how to do this, aren't you? Uh, <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I share with, uh, my knowledge and um, uh, skills with other people, uh, with my friends, uh, with all who would like to uh, know how. So. <laughs> and your but you could buy a, co a a kit right on your store that you get all the materials so that I could start learning. Because I'm a home sewer, to tell you the truth. I mean, we had a factory that made baby clothes, so I know how to sew. My kids know how to sew. They're making clothes downstairs even, actually. And it's just, you know, just for fun. So if I want to make dolls for fun, I can get your kit and have all the tools I need to start learning how to make my own dolls, right? And give them as Christmas gifts or presents or uh, whatever for any time of year. Absolutely, and uh, you know this is exciting because the sewing kit can, it does not represent just one gift if yes. you give it to someone. It can actually represent two or more gifts at the same time, because that person will you know have the opportunity to create his own you know beautiful item and give it to someone they care and love. So in other words, that, that, now we have a, a, a tripled gift here because you you buy. The sewing, I mean, the, the kits for making dolls and give the kit as a gift. So you're giving a gift of making gifts for other people. It's a snowball yeah. effect. It's yeah. a chance to pay it forward. So it's giving forward, as they say, how to yes. do that. But they are such delicate, you know, uh, clothes on the dolls. I mean, people look at that side just to see uh, the detail that you're able to do. And you would think you'd be, you know, an 80 year old woman, you know, who've done this for a thousand years or something. And but the craftsmanship you learned quickly, huh? Yes, she, she learned it about two years back and it started. Can you say how it started? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw, uh, thought about it. Uh, my friends show, showed me pictures from internet, beautiful dolls uh, uh, from Fabric, uh, and uh, um, uh, sh uh, they will, uh, was uh, beautiful, and uh, uh, I would like, uh, I, I, I couldn't uh, to uh, wish that uh, I uh, would be able to make uh, by myself uh, uh, but she uh, present uh, sewing kit for me. Uh, yes, it it, it was a uh, rabbit rabbit doll, <laughs> and uh, uh, I I like it. Uh, and um, I made I made present for my uh, for my old friend. <laughs> ah, well, that's uh, wonderful. For, uh, yeah. Well, and, I mean, it, it uh, just it's all about coming from the heart, isn't it? Yeah. And, and you're able to do things from the heart. But more importantly, uh, you're able to travel with your husband 
and have your work with you because your husband yeah, travels all over yeah. the world dubai russia india or whatever he's in the oil business he must be a gazillionaire but you're learning how mm -hmm. to contribute too <laughs> <laughs> it's so convenient Absolutely. yes and that's uh, i mean just think 10 years ago you couldn't do something like this the internet wasn't here you, you know Etsy wasn't here any of these places that you'd be making these dolls and trying to go to these big companies to get the dolls into their store and they would want you to do 5,000 of them. Exactly. Today's world provides so many opportunities. As you said, 10 years ago, it would be very hard to, you know, to find out how to learn to do this. But now, if you're really, you know, eager to do something, you can find a way. You can, uh, you know, so many opportunities. Well, just like you, struggling with English, but you haven't struggled with making dolls, have you? <laughs> you know, this hobby gives her, you know, so much courage, you know. In normal life, she, you know, she is shy to speak in English. But now, you know, she was, you know, so passionate. Yes, we'll do this radio show with Matthew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, and that's the, but I mean, I could really, I, I, I went over to China last year and I was trying to learn Mandarin and, Oh, it is so difficult. I mean, it took me three years to learn seven words. You know what I mean? <laughs> just, so I, I applaud you just trying anything. And that's right. You have something important to do. So now maybe you don't mind being foolish that you don't speak English well because your products are more important than you're struggling with English. It doesn't matter. because it will come. Yeah, it's, it'll, it'll come. come. And what you're it'll doing, change. the dolls are more important. See, then how bad your English is. Doesn't matter. Your English is terrific. Don't worry about it. But the dolls are more important, so it doesn't matter, and it'll come, right? And, you know, she, she has where to practice. She started doing her master classes, you know, so in master class. And at first, that was only for, you know, Russian-speaking people. But now she for, got courage to do it. I see. Wow, well, hey, get rid of these Russians, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Now, how do we find you guys? Facebook or what's the best place to find you? Well, you can easily type just Crafty Bales uh, anywhere in Google and it will give links to Etsy, Amazon, Facebook. Okay, so that's Crafty Bellis. So that C-R-A-F-T-I-B-E-L-L-E-S. Crafty Bellis. <laughs> Bales, bale, like from beauty. So literally, this means you know beauty created with hands. You know. Uh, well, you have beautiful hands, beautiful products, and a beautiful family there, and you'll keep on being beautiful and just be speaking English better every day. But you won't need it. You'll be all over the world doing this stuff. You'll need other languages too. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. Wonderful to meet you, and thanks for sharing sharing the insides of your heart with the rest of us and i hope you keep doing it thank you very much matthew thank you have a good day bye bye